Hi, Father Tony here with an update from Calvary, although this time a very different update. We received just a couple of days ago a magnificent text from a male nurse in Calvary Hospital, Calvary Public Hospital in Canberra. Let me read it to you and then just make a very brief comment at the end of the text. Here it is. Hi, I wanted to share with you my experience today. I was walking through our hospital and noticed that our staff were removing the crucifix as part of the compulsory acquisition of our beautiful hospital by the ACT government. I had a strong urge to ask for permission to kiss the cross before they took it down off the wall. I asked and in front of everyone, I kissed the cross. In that moment, I was overwhelmed with emotions that are quite difficult to express. It reminded me of the same feeling I had when I kissed my father, grandfather's face on his final journey to the cemetery. We often see crucifixes in churches and homes every day, and they may not evoke strong emotions in our everyday lives. However, this experience made me realize how deeply rooted Christ and the crucifix are in our lives, and no power of darkness can remove that from our hearts. We are called to proclaim our faith in the midst of trials. I just thought of sharing this with you when my emotions were almost exploding. That's the end of the text, beautiful text, almost uh, sublime. The crucifix of Christ, when we're suffering, when we've failed, when our weakness and our vulnerability, our frailty, we look upon Christ crucified and we realize the sympathy that God has for us, Christ crucified, the sympathy that he has with suffering. And it fills us with, with magnificent hope. And then of course, Christ dies for us and goes through the gateway of death and opens the door for all of us to the glorious resurrection. All of this of course, fills us with hope and as the promise then is embedded within each and every one of us.